guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and I'm joined by my twin bro, Ryan. Hey, everyone. And guess what? We've got the reveal gameplay from Watch Dogs 2. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Plus, brand new details about new gameplay mechanics, crafting weapons, the story, multiplayer, and so much more. So let's dive straight into it. So we'll briefly tell you a little bit about the background story for Watch Dogs 2. Well, it ditches Aiden Pierce, first of all, as the main protagonist. And we will be getting Marcus Holloway instead, a kid raised in Oakland who was incorrectly profiled by CTOS 2.0, which is going to be the upgraded CTOS from the first game. Now, Marcus teams up with hacker group DeadSec, you may have heard of them before, to take on corruption in San Francisco, which will be acting as your new open world playground this time around. He's going to be the polar opposite of Aiden Pierce with a very outgoing and socially involved personality. Now, in terms of gameplay, Watch Dogs 2 will be offering a more open structure to how the story and missions are laid out, and Ubisoft is introducing us to operations, which can be played in any order, and instead of gaining XP from completing these, you'll actually gain followers instead. So that's mm. pretty interesting, and the operations will be a wide variety of missions, including spying and other such activities. Yeah, and Marcus is also going to be better at parkour than Aiden Pierce this time around. You may have noticed that from the gameplay clips. He's going to be faster, and there's going to be a better, more immediate flow with his movements. He'll also be using a homemade billard ball as a melee weapon. It's definitely a different choice for sure, but we hope to see more melee weapons in the future too. Yeah, I'm curious to see if that weapon has a backstory to it and a yeah. reason why he's using it. And by the way, you will be able to customize the heck out of Marcus with various clothing options as seen here. So that is going to be returning, and I'm really digging the clothing styles. It definitely looks more appropriate than wearing a trench coat all the time. And so there's going to be proper co-op in the open world Finally. as well, which is really exciting. Awesome. You can seamlessly join one another's games and play co-op missions together. And we hope this extends to the main story missions as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can definitely. complete the entire game together. But from what IGN suggests, this may be the case. So stay tuned for news on that. So we'll, awesome. we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for that. And you'll also be able to match make in co-op with random people too if you don't have a friend that's online at that time. Yep, that's awesome. Now for the hacking abilities, you can use the mass hack tool to hack everyone's phones to cause a distraction while you plan your getaway. Of course, you're going to have to progress through the story through the missions to get to the point of these mass hacks which there's going to be a lot of mass hack abilities in this one and a lot of you are very worried about the driving model which was lacking in Watch Dogs. Well now it is going to be much more arcadey and easier to get into unlike Watch Dogs 1 which had extremely loose handling for the cars so that's good news. And they're also saying that Watch Dogs 2 is going to be all about player choice and freedom Besides, it is an open world game, mm -hmm. so this is really good news as well. And you'll be able to complete the entire game without killing anyone. Or, of course, you can murder everyone in your path. Yeah. So go for it. I don't it's know if you can kill choice. all the civilians this time or not. We'll see. I don't know if you can become like the hardcore bad guy. That'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. And hacking has also seen improvements. All cars can be hacked. And this will offer new strategies like running over some poor fools. And if you need cover, you can remote control the car and actually pull it in front of you, which is also cool. Mm -hmm. And we also see here drones are going to be a big part of the game, allowing you to scout and hack into security unseen. And this is the big one. There's also going to be weapon blueprints this time around for crafting. So I think this will push the co-op aspect even further to get those blueprints collected. You'll also be able to use DeadSec's advanced 3D printer to print out your own gun designs from the blueprints you have collected. That is awesome. So they're integrating a lot of new technology with the drones and the 3D printers right in yeah. the game. Yep. And the biggest feature we're curious about at this point is definitely the multiplayer aspect, which was pretty lackluster in the first Watch Dogs. Yeah, definitely. So can you take your crafted weapons into multiplayer? How will PvP work? Will it be seamless? And can more than one player invade your game world? And, of course, will the entire thing be able to be played cooperatively? Like all yeah, like the missions? actual single-player story-driven missions. That's my dream. I hope that is the case this time around. And, of course, yes, Watch Dogs 2 does have a release date. It is November 15th of this year. But, guys, stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Watch Dogs 2 and more Open World Gaming goodness. We will have... 
tons more coverage about Watch Dogs 2. You better believe it. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we will see you in San Francisco. See you there.